Louisiana gardeners use a wide variety of plants indoors, particularly this time of the year in the winter when you might have moved some of the tropical plants and containers that you have out on your patios and porches inside your house to protect them from the cold. Now you would think that indoors pest problems would not be an issue, but they certainly may be. Pests can get into our homes a wide variety of ways. Most notably, oftentimes you may buy a plant that's already infested and bring it in and from that plant it spreads to the rest of your uh, collection. Now when you have a pest problem indoors, you can't expect natural predators to take care of them. There's nothing like that inside. So you really have to step in and take care of pest problems yourself. When it comes to selecting an insecticide for use indoors, a few things to keep in mind. You've got to choose a product that is labeled for use indoors as well as outdoors. And I've selected three different products here that you can use that way. In addition, you might want to choose something that's already pre-mixed and ready to go, like here, here, and this aerosol. Because with house plants, you're not spraying huge amounts of plants. You're just spraying maybe a few. Some good products to look at in the nursery to use for pest control indoors include a light horticultural oil. These kill by coating and suffocating, so make sure you spray the plant thoroughly. That's important no matter what pesticides you use. Uh, and these are really great for scales. Uh, this particular insecticidal soap product is really great for spider mites and mealybugs. Uh, and this permethrin is a contact insecticide that can also be used indoors for mealybugs, scales, white flies, and a variety of other pests. So keep a sharp eye out on your indoor plants. If you see a pest problem getting started, deal with it promptly for best results. Forget it growing. I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.